What lies beyond the grave? Can a powerful event make spirits linger on the earthly plane? I'm Nigel Thorne, hunter of the unknown. We're in Garberville, California, at the Morton family graveyard. Over a hundred years ago, something terrible happened here. Executive producer of Hunting the Unknown, Lindsay Amos, can explain further. Thanks, Nigel. In the 1920s, Garberville was home to Elias Morton. His cattle ranches drove the local economy, and he was a pillar of society. But Elias Morton was also one of America's first known serial killers. In this cemetery, he ritually tortured and murdered 12 women. And buried them here, yes? The perfect place to hide a body. Yes, and he died here. The newspaper reported that he committed suicide, but legend says he was killed by the spirits of his victims. Vengeance from beyond the grave. Fascinating. This cemetery is supposed to be one of the most haunted locations in the world. I can't say I'm thrilled to be staying here overnight, but it should be interesting. Can we capture the spirits on videotape? We'll soon find out. Tonight, we hunt ghosts. We've set up night vision, infrared cameras, and sensitive microphones. As of this moment, it's just us. But I'll be quiet now. We'll wait and see what turns up. Three hours later, and nothing yet. And our sound guy has fallen asleep. Not that there's anything worth recording. Five hours and nothing yet, Lindsay. What do you want me to do? I'm not the ghost whisperer. This is bloody going nowhere. Would somebody wake up, Dave? Wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? It just dropped considerably. I don't like this. We should go. There's nothing. Look. Oh. Oh, Lizzie, wait. Mark, stop running, damn it. Did you get that? Please tell me you got that up there. I got it. I don't believe it, but I got it. Yeah, well, I don't believe it either. Thanks for waking me up, guys. Can we just see the footage? All right, well, as you can see here, it looks like some sort of camera malfunction destroyed whatever footage you shot out there. Way to go, Mark. Well, it's not my fault. It, only a strong magnetic field would take a signal out like that. What, like your ghost? No, maybe like the high voltage power lines next to the cemetery. Boy, <laughs> But Lindsay, do you think your experience could be caused by power lines? Oh, you mean the screaming, glowing things rising from the graves? No, I don't think it was power lines. Okay. Well, I wonder, Dave, what did your microphones pick up? Oh, well, it's kind of weird. At the same time that the camera screwed up, all my audio gear record was just noise. But if you listen, I might have isolated a voice and noise. Listen, I'll kill you. Hear that? Let's go back. Here it is. Did you hear that? Yeah, someone said, I'll kill you all? Yeah, it's like, I'll kill you all. <laughs> it's like, cool. I'll kill you all. Huh? Huh? It sounded more like, I buried Paul. Who? Who's Paul? McCartney? Like, Strawberry Fields? Never mind. And so it seems our hunt was not quite a success. We found something we couldn't explain, but we don't have any tangible evidence of the encounter. Dave thinks electromagnetic fields might be responsible for the equipment failure and for the apparitions we saw, but personally, I'm just happy to be sleeping in my own bed tonight. Until next time, I'm Lindsay Amos with Hunting the Unknown.